Now the next thing we're going to want to get out of this request before we process it are the headers that the user might have sent. So in between getting the HTTP method and sending the response, let's go ahead and insert what we want to do next, which is get the headers as an object. Luckily, this, like the previous example, is also very simple. We want to define a headers variable, and its value is just going to be request, req, rec, dot, headers, rec dot headers. Now let's go ahead and log that out. I'm going to erase the rest of what we had logged previously um, because we already know that that's working. Request received with these headers. Okay, so now we're logging out which headers we are receiving. I'm going to go ahead and save this file, start the app back up. But at this point, we uh, need to add headers to this request. So curl, we're kind of outgrowing curl at this point. So I'm going to close that tab and switch over here to Postman. Postman is an HTTP request library that's really useful for debugging APIs when you're building them. It lets you form requests, add the headers you want to send, add the body you want to send really easily. Okay, so I'm going to say that we want to send a request to localhost 3000, and we want to add some headers. Foo is gonna equal bar, fizz is gonna equal buzz, and apples are going to equal oranges, and red is going to equal blue. Okay, so that's a whole bunch of headers sent at that request. And oops, we don't want to do localhost 30,000, we want to do localhost 3,000. So I'm going to send that request. We see that down here, we can see the response that we got back was still just raw text coming back as hello world. But if we go back to the terminal, we can see all of these headers that got sent along with the request. Some of these we didn't add in Postman, they were added for us, um, but some of these we configured ourselves. For example, we set foo to bar, we set red to blue, apples to oranges, and fizz to buzz. So now the application is understanding all the headers that it's seeing as part of these requests, and it is locking them out for us. I can kill this app now and move on to the next section.